Hello, hello! Welcome to Club Crusette! I'm your host, Crusette, and today we're getting into a game called Rakuen, and I'm probably mispronouncing that. Um, I found out about this game while reading a thread somewhere on the internet, I couldn't tell you where, and the thread ba someone in the thread basically said, To the moon is bad because Rakuen is the new sad uh, RPG maker game. So we're gonna see if that stands. To what this person said, but either way, I love my sad RPG Maker games, and... This song is beautiful. Alrighty, everybody. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Because I know nothing about this game. I just bought it. I was happy to see it on Steam. Okay. Let's learn the controls real quick. Q is to talk to mom, but oh, when she's with you, okay. I thought it was just a special, a special key, just especially for mom. Okay, but it's when she's in your party. Hmm. So so far, we're in a hospital. Who's there? I need to come up with a voice for boy. <laughs> Is he hallucinating or? Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh, he just looks so content with that. Like, oh, that's cool. My door's unlocked. I could have been stabbed to death, but oh well. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Same. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. He looks happy now. I sneaked out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Heh. <laughs> Promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait! Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. You're the chosen one, or probably something like that. <laughs> I promise. I need a better voice for Yami as well. Yami. Where'd you go? I want to know what's up with this kid's hat. Like, his hat's kind of funny. It's just like this. Oh, can we actually get out of the bed? Oh, we can. I thought we were going to be hooked up to an IV. Hello? Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. What? Why did the light... Oh! Oh, it's a doctor. I thought it was going to be a nurse. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Huh. She did not look pleased. Okay, wise guy, I got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. 
Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Are you thinking it's us? Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Oh no! It's gone! What's gone? Is it something I should have seen, like, at the beginning of the game? Doctor, they took it! They took Raccoon! Raccoon. What did they take? Raccoon, it's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes it, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's going to be so sad. Quadruple dot. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to read, since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you find your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Hmm. Is this a tablet? Pay oh, it's a clipboard. Permitix. This sodium. Oh, it's medicine. Yeah, when it was last given, I think is what the dates are going to be. Bathroom. A mirror. Can we check the. I love that they put in. A sprite for the lid to be open and closed. That's that's beautiful. I I commend you. Whoever worked on this filled the sink with water. Sure. The sink is filled with water. Okay. I guess that'll come in handy later. I'm pretty sure it will. So we can just go into other people's rooms. This seems a broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. Oh, chill, Tony. Tony, Tony, chill. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out. It figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where is that nurse with my coffee? <laughs> Oh my god. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. Is he like the dude who blocks your way to get to Vermilion City? Is it is he like that dude? He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? The door is locked, okay.
the door is locked. Keep out. Only authorized personnel will be on this point. Okay. Well, so far, I'm really liking the music and the art in this game. I'm curious to see what the story has to offer. Cora, Hey there! Oh, uh, what's up? Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I don't know if this is a... I don't know what voice to give this person. I'm Cora. It's probably easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Whoa, cool! And don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it's nice to meet ya. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later. But if you find anything cool you want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks here feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. She looks, he looks so stunned. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here feel happier, then it'd all be worth it. Hey there. Oh, uh, did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah, Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> hey there, tell me about folks here. Who do you want to know about? Uh, I guess I'll ask about all of them. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Who do you want to know about? Sue. We've not met Sue, but we'll, we'll talk to her. Sue's a sweetheart, but she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's that guy over there with at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird, but cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Oh, I love his little bear pin. That's so cute. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like why are there only why are there only two eggs? Why are there only two egg lying mammals in the world? Holy crap. <laughs> I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far only platypuses and inchita in ichida families have hopped onto that bandwagon. He just got the little anime sparkle. I love it. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. He likes so stunned, like, what the hell? Like, what can I help you with? Uh, did you hear about the thief? Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm the thief. No, not really. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? No, I only just came out of my room. Hmm? Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. 
I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye. But for a second. So unfortunately, I could not say. He looks so content with himself, though. He's like, I couldn't tell you, but it's okay. What can I help you with? Tell me about the folks here. Who would you like to know about? We're just going to learn about everyone from everyone else. It's, this is just Gossip Simulator, guys. I don't even know who... Oh, Chef Panky. Okay. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Who would you like to know about? Uh, Kisaburo. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example... Recently, the staff only found him out. The staff found him outside digging in the mud again? What? He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... buried treasure. He's like, I don't believe that. Uh-huh. What would you like to know about? Danielle. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Who would you like to know about? See you later. There's... Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I, I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot of work to do right now. And my stomach is growling what I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. If we give you one, will you be more pleasant with us, or can we get behind the desk, even? A semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? Please deposit 10 gram. 10 gold, 10 gram, I don't know what it's asking for. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. We're just going around talking to everyone. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? No? The door is locked. Oh, this dude has coffee, but our other dude doesn't. A thermometer. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of this folder. Page 1. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe the metastasis to we believe the metastasis to be the cause of his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you have the right tools. Oh, that's why we need to go follow the nurse to get tools. Kisabura, I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. Do you need something? What's up? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the right things I need to before it's too late. You need something? Did you hear about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. 
which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through that. But, no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think I've lost my mind. You need something? Uh, tell me about folks here. I'm not one for gossip. Oh, he's broken the gossip simulator. You need something? We're just gonna... The door is locked. Okay, we're just gonna go follow that nurse, get tools, and hopefully we can start going through that tunnel or something else. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Hey! What are you doing? You're all the way over there. How did you know what I'm- that I'm knocking on the door or anything? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. If you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Okay. Okay, so before I go talk to her, can we talk about how this character here kind of looks like a 2D Marceline from Adventure Time? I'm kind of in love with it. With this sprite right here. So you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometime. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know? Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Um... Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yes. Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing something, though. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some of them fell out. If you could just find me one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing with was Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Let's talk to Marceline. Oh, it's a dude! Okay. Winston, how are you doing today? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. Oh my no. Oh my no. Oh my no. This is gonna take me back to my acute care days when I was a student. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. No, that's good, even though she's in a comatose state, to keep your loved ones orientated, talking to them, even doing passive range of motion, all of that is so good for them. How are you doing today? Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electric passcode devices? I've been told that those area- What the heck? GeForce game? No! I've been told that those areas have been closed off, even to staff. But recently, I've noticed that one of the devices has been turned on. How are you doing today? Uh, tell me about the folks around here. Who'd you like to know about? Oh, you know about Cora? I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost the morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves Towel Cape Heroes. I love that name. Who would you like to know about? Tony. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Who would you like to know about? Sue. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She's had a bit of a habit walking aimlessly on certain nights. Who would you like to know about? Never mind. Okay, so we gotta go to the cafeteria. And we gotta find that something special to donate, which I think is gonna be the thing in the toilet. So, we'll see what we can do. Hello? Do 
doctor. Hospital staff. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Okay. Oh, that's Danielle, the one who makes plushies. A pile of freshly a pile of freshly made plushy toys. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Check it out. Yes. You found a snowy marble. Her art is so cute! Oh my god! Hey kiddo, you need something? What's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. I love your plushie that you have in your hand. I want to make one for myself. <laughs> my goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even cranky old men like Tony and Panky. Uh, I heard that. Oh my god, he must have supersonic hearing because we're not even close to him. Good. Hey kiddo, you need something? Did you hear about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? Oh, this is the one that Winston was just talking about, I think. I heard they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk that's across from Kisaburo's room. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean they haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. Tell me about the folks here. Oh, I know all about people here, and then she just knows three people. Have you noticed Winston's wife doesn't even have her wedding band on? Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, if she's in a comatose state, she's probably lost a lot of weight. I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Oh, I know all about the people here. Well, you don't know why she's not wearing a wedding band, which I kind of want to know. If it's one of those situations where it's like they were divorced or something like that. I don't know. I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell that he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he'd open up to you a bit. Oh, I know all about the people here. Okay, yeah, Sue. Sue didn't used to be so poor, but I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Okay, so that's all we're gonna get out of this. Let's see if we can get coffee from Chef Panky. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? Coffee. That's what I need, but that's not an option now, is it? Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo choos. The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like him, huh? Do you need something? The answer is still coffee, but. We'll ask about the thief. Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way. They got in here through the cafeteria. See the metal door up there? It comes down after hours and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the back space. The back space? Yeah. It's a network of closed off passageways. Half built rooms, storage rooms, you know. The aftermath of... Well, yeah. It's crazy back there. The aftermath of what? You need something? Tell me about the folks here. Who you want to know about? Danielle. Don't tell the right sentence, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. <laughs> I guess they have that sort of... Not friend of me status, but... Um, essentially, where they just pick on each other a lot. I get that on each other with a loving connotation. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing up for sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. Ugh, oh, that's my kind of woman. I heard that. Eh, what can I say? It's true. <laughs> yeah, it is. Who do you want to know about? Kisaburo. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time, borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. 
He took all my soup ladles! And for what? To go digging in the mud outside looking for buried treasure- Oh. Oh. Okay. So that- that was okay. Like... That's right, Jockey was telling us he knew Kisoburo before his mind started to go bad. And that he was digging in the mud, but I didn't think it was with the kitchen soup ladles. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must even be tougher for his family. Sad face, Triple Dot. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. Who do you want to know about? I'm good for now. Is that a cat? Is that a cat? Is that a cat? Oh my god. I told you, you're not supposed to bring- You're not supposed to have cats at the hospital. It's fine, she's a seeing eye cat. She's a seeing eye cat? My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. I love cats so much. Sorry, hon. But you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. Okay. So we're gonna have to somehow sneak around the wing. We have to solve. I already know how this is gonna go. It's gonna be a lot of puzzles. So... Oh, I'm just leaving my mouse in the middle of the screen. Hang on, let me move that. <laughs> Open the locker? Yes. The door is rusted shut. Maybe we'll find the money we need to get the peanut choo-choo in the, uh, in the lockers. Who knows? But we found a marble for now, so let's go remedy that. And then after that, we might call it quits for now. Like I said, I already see how this game's going to go in terms of puzzles, you know, you gotta get puzzle after puzzle to get the next thing, but in terms of story, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Any luck? Give Sue the snowy marble? Yes. You gave Sue the snowy marble. Ah, you found my snow world! That's a different voice for her than the one I was giving her earlier. Snow world? Shh! You can keep, can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets. With tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. The swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. What kind of parties? Snowman dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. Oh! They have pretty lanterns everywhere too, and a blue campfire that feels cold. Wouldn't it be called a camp cold then, not a campfire? <laughs> but if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah, feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them back to me? Of course! Thanks so much. Alright. So I think that's what we're going to call it for now. I know we could just go into the bathroom and get the thing, but I don't want to just be propelled into the story right away, and then it's just a horrible place to leave off. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. So far, this game seems pretty interesting. I'm liking the variety of cast. They all seem pretty cool. I really want to know Tony's story, though. Like, I will get my tissue box ready. What do you think is going on with some of these characters? When we were gossiping with everyone else, a lot of people seem to have...
little bits and pieces of information about characters, but nothing full-fledged. I'm curious what you guys think. I'm sure you guys have very interesting and creative comments and thoughts to put down below. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my video. I highly appreciate it. And until next time, you all have a lovely day, and I will see you all in the next video.